We got the continuation unboxing from my army of Angela's. Stay tuned. Comically correct comics. Welcome back to Comically Correct Comics, you guys. I am Bry. Thank you so much for stopping by. In a previous video, we did started an unboxing where I had about 125 book or more. Maybe it was like more like 140 book submission where 105 of them were spawn number nine. It's the first appearance of Angela. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up here and a link down in the description. Go check it out. Um, I, I touched briefly on how this all came to be and it's a really interesting story. Um, there's been a lot of learning lessons along the way, but also in those submissions were a bunch of other books, some good, some not so good. And what I mentioned in the previous video is that I've learned three things since I did this submission. Um, I did this submission six months ago and I'm just now getting them back from CGC because I had them pressed by CCS. Now CCS is, um, I guess kind of a sister company of CGC. They work together. You ship your books to have them pressed by CCS. You ship them to the same place as CGC. Um, but their turnaround time is horrendous. It's 99 working days right now, which comes out to four and a half months. And then CGC grading is 42 working days right now, which comes out to two, about two months. And so grand total, best case scenario, you're looking at six and a half months turnaround time if you're gonna have your books pressed by CCS and graded by CGC. And the cost, um, you know, the, the end takeaway, I think they do pretty good work. I mean, I had 105 books um, pressed by, actually, no, I had all of the books pressed press, um, and cleaned by them. Uh, so about 140 books pressed and cleaned by them. And it seems like they do a pretty good job. I, I can say that um, it's just the turnaround time. And so, um, and there's other options too. You can find a reputable presser on Instagram. I use comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. His name is Eric. I actually do all my own pressing now, but when I have like a big boy book or something like a silver age or an older book, I will still send it to, to Eric to do because he's that good. His prices are reasonable. His turnaround time is quick. Um, he's honest. He's trustworthy. He does good work. What else could you ask for? Um, tell him comic guy Bry sent you from comically correct comics and you'll get free return shipping on, um, for new customers. So for new customers, you're looking for a new presser, give Eric a try. I don't get a kickback from that. It's just an on it. Uh, organic promotion because I think he does good work and that's how this works in the comic book community helping each other out promoting people who deserve it and Eric's definitely one of those guys so I mean I have some crazy stories of what happened with Eric like one time I sent him a book right and he and he said I don't think it's gonna be a 9-8 do you mind if I switch it out with another copy I have another copy that's a 9-8 I was like do I mind if you upgrade my book for free? Uh, no, I don't mind. Like, that's how cool of a person he is. That's how good of a guy he is. Um, unbelievable, right? So go check him out. Some of the lessons that I've learned so far is, one, learn how to grade yourself. Don't submit things, you know, le learn how to find those pressable defects and, and uh, have them evaluated so you can save on reject fees. It's not that difficult. I made a whole video about it. I'll put a link up here and a link down in the description to my pressable defects video. Um, and the second lesson was don't submit things prematurely, okay? I submitted a bunch of virus stuff in here, I believe, and it was just too early. Now, don't get me wrong. The virus covers are amazing. Some of them are really cool. I even have one in the PC, but for speculative value to turn around to flip them, um, don't submit books that have underdeveloped characters or new villains. If there's a lot of hype around it and it's just, you don't know where the story's gonna go, by the time you get your books back, they could be totally flops. And so I will be lucky, lucky to break even on the virus stuff. Uh, we'll probably lose some money. So those are some lessons that I've learned, um, but let's, let's get into it. All right, first up we have Spider-Man number 12. This is the 1 in 25 McCone variant, and it's, uh, or McLeod variant. And this is the first kiss between Miles Morales 
and Gwen Stacy. So a significant uh, event in the story arc. Um, I expect if there's any kind of magic between those two um, on the screen, that that issue might go up. The interesting thing about this book is that um, I also have the regular cover. This is the one in 25. So I have two copies of that there. The regular cover sells for more than the one in 25. And what it comes down to is cover, okay? I guess people just aren't that crazy about this cover. On the other cover, um, they're actually kissing on the cover and it sells better. So uh, cover definitely plays a role in value. All right, so here we go with the Venom. Venom 26, what do they call this variant? This is called the Wednesday variant. <laughs> It's just kind of cool. It says uh, on sale Wednesday and on the back it says uh, Marvel Comics on sale every Wednesday. Pretty cool. And it says first uh, distributed appearance of virus intended to be the second appearance, but because of COVID-19 free comic book day, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it does have that on the label. If anyone's interested in this, you can hit me up over on Instagram or email me at comicallycorrectcomics at gmail.com. So another copy of that. Now this is cool. I've had some people ask me if I have um, any uh, sketch covers. So this is Venom 25, the black sketch cover in a 9-8. So this would be awesome, 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 awesome to have, uh, you know, some kind of si uh, signature and remark on this. Then we have the regular cover. For Venom 26, $35 if anyone's interested. I got two of those. This is a fantastic Wraparound cover, Venom 25. Now, when this came out, this was, you know, supposedly going to be the hot one. This was the one that, it's the second printing of Venom 25, but honestly, this cover is so freaking sick by uh, Ryan Stegman. And it's a, a wraparound cover. It's got Kodak, uh, Null. It's got the Maker, it's got Virus. I think it might be the first cover appearance of Codex. I don't know. Uh, it is an absolutely epic, epic cover. So I got two of those. I'll have to see what these are going for. Then we have the Venom 25 second printing Reposo variant. <laughs> Really, really cool cover. I can go 40 on that. All right, so this is what's really exciting. Strange Academy number one. Are you kidding me? Like I almost bought copies of this. I forgot that I had submitted these and I thought, oh, there's no way they're coming back. Because what I bought these off eBay, I bought four copies off eBay and I just had it in my head that they were not nine eights and they are I got I can see right now all four of them came back here in nine eight so I have four copies now of Strange Academy number one now here's the thing I'm gonna hold on to these I I was gonna buy one at full price I bought these on eBay for 20 bucks each um, so I'm only in these like 40 bucks, $42. I'm in these, uh, I'm going to hold on to them until, uh, so there's four total until something breaks with, with this series. She, the strange Academy is going places. It's definitely, definitely, definitely got a future. I mean, how could it not? This is the first appearance of so many characters as well. It's the first appearance of Emily Bright, Doyle Dormammu, Shaylee Moonpetal, Calvin Morse, Desi, German, Buslog, Zoe, Alvi, Irik, and Toth. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven first appearances. 
And, um, you know, these characters could all have spinoffs. These characters could have all kinds of stuff. This, this book has made it onto my list for best um, specs for 2021 it's, uh, and some other, you know, best specs to pick up right now lists. Uh, I, I just have high hopes for this, and I am definitely surprised that these all came back 9-8. I mean, I'm seeing some spine ticks and stuff, but, you know... They are definitely nearly perfect. And at the end of the day, a 9.8 is a nearly perfect collectible with only very minor signs of manufacturing or handling defects. And these are all nearly perfect. So I am very happy with that. All right, so here we have Outlawed number one. And this is the Smith variant cover. I believe it's the one in 50. Um, maybe it's the one in 25. I'll put up here, is it the one in 50 or the one in 25? Outlawed number one, which I believe is the first appearance of Cradle, um, but it's not on the label. All right, now here is the regular cover of Spider-Man 12. So this is the one that's selling better than the one in 25, <laughs> which is crazy to me, but um, it's uh, the market dictates. So I got two of those. I can do 120 on the first kiss of Miles Morales. I think it's worth a little bit more than that. I wouldn't mind holding on to him. If something pops off with Miles, that book's just going to go up. But I can do 120. The Outlawed, I have two copies of that. Outlawed number one. Let's see three copies of that all right this is really really cool so this is miles morales spider-man number one and um, this is the stealth freeze variant i got two of these one of them came back rejected um because of spine ticks and this one came back a nine eight and i I bought this on eBay, um, and I think I paid 20 bucks for it. So I'm really, really happy that I got one out of two. This one's cool. This is uh, Outlawed number one. And this is, this is the Tony Daniel variant cover. It's a wraparound, and it's got all next-gen heroes. It's got Gwenpool, My Miles Morales, America Chavez, Nova, Amadeus Cho, Ironheart, Spider-Gwen, Miss Marvel, and then some. No wonder this book is doing so well. This is the sickest cover um, of the next gen superheroes I think that I've ever seen the Tony Daniel outlawed number one it's just a regular order all you want cover it's just uh, just happened to be um, ordered less there's another sitting in the tree story arc spider Gwen and Miles Morales first kiss wow I had a, a bunch of those and another one so at the end of the day, not too shabby. This submission could have gone a lot worse. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So, you know what? Um, you live and you learn. I've learned a lot since I've submitted these. And that is the name of the game with collecting and with submitting is learn. Learn as you go. Um, never be so prideful that you can't humble yourself, humble yourself and accept um, where you went wrong and share it with others. You know, that's a big part of what I do here on my channel is just be humble, be real, and be honest and say, look, I screwed up on this. I lost money doing this, this, and the other because if I did it, you know, there's a good chance that somebody else might have the idea to do it too. So I just want to share with you my mistakes in the hopes that you, would, you will benefit from it as well. 
So thank you so much for uh, stopping by and sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Hit me up over on Instagram if you're interested in any of these books. As you can see, I'm not afraid to make a killer deal. I'm not afraid to take a loss where I need to take a loss. Um, and my, I'm over on Instagram at comically underscore, underscore correct underscore comics. Or you can email me at comically correct comics at gmail.com. I really appreciate all of you. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video at all or found anything useful. Leave a thumbs down if you suck at life, and there will be some of you. Let's all laugh. If there's any thumbs down on my video, we can laugh because we know that those people just suck at life. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Comically correct comment.